Now I'm going to move on to talk about metadata. Now metadata is important. You've collected your data throughout the project and you're ready to submit it to the archive. We need some additional information to support this. So what is metadata? Metadata is data about the data. It describes data, it provides context. The purpose of archiving the data is to preserve and enable reuse. So your data set that you archive needs to be self-contained and self-describing. The metadata answers these questions. The who, the what, the why, the where and when your data was produced for. It enables the data to be found and then reused by somebody not involved in the original project. So we have two types of metadata, really. One we call discovery metadata, which is at the data set level. And this gives context to your data set. We store this metadata in the CEDA data catalog and it allows for discovery of your data through the CEDA catalog and through wider portals. It includes links to instruments and platform records, um, the platform of the location or, or the aircraft or the ship that it's been measured on or the model. It'll provide information about the project that it was collected for. This may well affect the data itself if the project had a specific purpose and it connects to the people in, involved, the authors of the data set, and so on. On the right here, we have an example of a catalogue record from our catalogue. And it shows you, for this data set, we have the title, we have an abstract giving a description of the project. On the right-hand side, we have the geographical and temporal information. Below that, we have the authors, and Below, at the left-hand side, there's links to all the other information about this data set, links to the instruments, the people, the platforms, projects, etc. When you have a well-formatted data set like this with complete metadata, it can be published and we can provide a DOI, a digital object identifier, for your data set. This is one of the benefits of uploading your data to CEDA, is you can get a DOI, your, your, pay, your data is published, and you can be cited and accredited for it. Okay. Another type of metadata is the file level metadata. This is very important for reuse of the data. Somebody to reuse your data who wasn't involved in the original project will need to find out all the details about the data. This is usually stored in the file header and it contains the specifics about the actual file, the parameters and variables included, or the geospatial and temporal information, calibration processing details um, pertaining to this particular file. There are standard conventions for many data formats and examples will be shown later. But the idea to make your data reusable is to make it self-contained. Now, you may well have additional documentation that doesn't really fit in, into your data files. These might be log files, maps, etc. any of these words written on the, the slide here. Anything else that supports your data, we, we can store alongside your data. A photograph of an instrument in situ uh, making measurements can tell an awful lot that words can't really describe. So anything useful to support your data is also welcome. Now, a final um, slide on metadata. We strongly encourage you to use some of your metadata in the file names of your data files to make them meaningful. Uh, we all have our own file naming conventions that we use, um, but when you're uploading your data to archive, it's important that the in-file metadata in the, in the file name, it um, facilitates a correct interpretation of the data without having to open the files and read the files themselves. Um, one file name format we widely use in the atmospheric field is shown below. This consists of the instrumental model name, um, the location or platform information, date and time information, and 
any other information in the file name. There's a couple of examples on the screen now. We do realise that other communities have other standard formats for file names. You may be dictated to by a wider project of what you need to use. The takeaway message is to use meaningful information in your file names. We do have lots of help pages to help you with metadata and file naming. And here are some links here you can look at later. 